Welcome back, tech enthusiasts. In today's video, we have some eye-opening information to share with you. We're diving into the world of cyber threats and specifically, the notorious Darkgate malware. Prepare yourself, because this one is a doozy. Darkgate, a new and dangerous malware, has been wreaking havoc across the digital landscape. It's stealthy, sophisticated, and has the potential to bring even the most secure systems to their knees. In this video, we'll uncover the inner workings of this malicious software, how it spreads like wildfire, and the devastating consequences it can have on both individuals and organizations. But fear not, we won't leave you hanging. Our goal is not only to educate but also to empower you with the knowledge and tools to protect yourself against dark gate and other cyber threats. We'll explore the best practices to safeguard your devices, identify potential warning signs, and take proactive measures to ensure your online security. So if you're curious about the latest malware that's making headlines, or if you want to stay one step ahead of cyber criminals, this video is a must-watch. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest tech insights. Now, without further ado, let's unveil the secrets of Darkgate together. Darkgate is a malware that spreads via messaging services such as Telegram and WhatsApp by posing as PDF files. When clicked, it installs a variety of malware on the victim's device, including ransomware, cryptocurrency miners, and remote access trojans. Darkgate is a sophisticated malware that uses a variety of techniques to evade detection. For example, it uses obfuscation to make its code difficult to analyze and detect. It also uses a variety of social engineering techniques to trick users into clicking on the malicious PDF files. Darkgate is a serious threat to individuals and businesses alike. Ransomware can encrypt a victim's files and demand a ransom payment in exchange for the decryption key. Cryptocurrency miners can use the victim's computing power to mine cryptocurrency without the victim's consent and remote access trojans can give the attacker complete control over the victim's device. The additional malware is downloaded directly in the memory on 32 and 64 bits architectures, which makes it harder to detect because it doesn't reside on the file system. Darkgate possesses the ability to persist, which can be activated through its settings. If enabled, it duplicates itself onto the hard drive and generates a registry key for execution during system reboots. While Darkgate primarily serves as a loader for malware from third parties, it also maintains inherent functionalities. One of examples of infected Darkgate malware is On August 29th, Microsoft Teams chat messages were sent from two external Office 365 accounts compromised prior to the campaign. The message content aimed to social engineer the recipients into downloading and opening a malicious file hosted remotely. Using two Teams accounts that they bought from the dark web, a hacker sent messages on Microsoft Teams to trick users into downloading and opening a harmful archive file. If the requirements set by the attacker are met, the traffic distribution system will redirect the victim user to the final payload URL for the MSI download. When the user opens the downloaded MSI file, the dark gate infection is triggered. The download locations observed in the team's attacks were SharePoint.com URLs hosting, zip files with names like changes to the vacation schedule.zip. The zip file contains a malicious shortcut posing as a PDF document, changes to the vacation schedule.pdf.lnk. Clicking the shortcut executes a command line which triggers the download and execution of a renamed command line tool for getting or sending data including files using URL syntax to download and execute autoit3.exe in a bundled script. The pre-compiled autoit script hides the code in the middle of the file and, on execution, drops a new file that contains shellcode. When the shellcode is run, the first thing it uses is the byte-by-byte -byte technique ACA called stacked strings to create a new file, a Windows executable identified as Darkgate Loader. These are some of the ways that Darkgate malware can spread via messaging services and pose as legitimate files. You should be careful when opening attachments or links from unknown or suspicious sources and always scan them with reliable antivirus software before running them. There are a number of things that you can do to protect yourself from Darkgate malware. The first one is, be careful about what links you click on and what attachments you open, especially in messaging services. Keep your software up to date, including your operating system, web browser, and messaging apps. Use a strong password manager and enable two-factor authentication for all of your online accounts. Install a reputable antivirus program and keep it up to date. If you think that you may have been infected with Darkgate malware, you should immediately disconnect your device from the internet and scan it with an antivirus program. You should also change your passwords for all of your online accounts. Here are some additional tips to protect yourself from Darkgate malware. Educate yourself about Darkgate malware and other hacking threats. Be vigilant and suspicious of unsolicited emails and phone calls. Back up your data regularly to an external hard drive or cloud storage service. Have a plan in place for what to do if you are infected with malware. 
By following these tips, you can help protect yourself from dark gate malware and other hacking threats. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about the dark gate malware. This is a serious cyber threat that can compromise your computer and your data. So make sure you take the necessary precautions to protect yourself. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when I upload a new video. Thank you for watching and stay safe.